I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn techniques for implicit differentiation. The question here is find slope of tangent to 2xy minus y cube equals to 4 at the point 3 comma 2. Now for this function it is actually difficult to isolate y and explicitly write an equation of y in terms of x. Now to find slope we need to find derivative that is dy dx. We can do implicit derivation and find dy dx. So we are given 2xy minus y cube equal to 4. Let us differentiate both sides with respect to x right so that is to say we'll do d dx of 2xy minus d dx y q equals to d dx of 4. Now derivative of 2xy with respect to x there are two variables involved will apply the product rule correct so we could write this as derivative of 2x times y plus 2x times dy dx correct now in the second case we can apply the chain rule we can write this as d dy of y q times dy dx correct here we know derivative of a constant is zero perfect now we can combine rather factor dy dx and then find what dy dx is derivative of 2x is 2 so we get 2y in the first case plus 2x dy dx minus derivative of y cube with respect to y will be 3y square and we have dy dx equal to 0. Now you can take dy dx common and take 2y to the other side correct. So we can write this as dy dx we have 2x minus 3y square and we will take 2y to the right side as minus 2y. Dividing by this factor we get dy dx as equals to minus 2y divided by 2x minus 3y square. Correct? So that is the derivative and now we need to find slope of tangent line at a given point right so let's do that part now we have already found the derivative now let's find the slope at 3 comma 2 right so dy dx is equal to let me rewrite this minus 2y over 2x minus 3y square so we'll just substitute these values 3 for x 2 for y so we have minus 2 times 2 divided by 2 times 3 which is the value of x minus 3 times 2 square right that gives us minus 4 divided by 6 minus 4 times 3 12 correct or it is minus 4 divided by minus 6 or 2 over 3. So the slope at a given point is 2 over 3. So that's our answer. Slope is 2 over 3. I hope with this example you learn how to differentiate using implicit differentiation. And then slope, you know, is dy dx at a given point. So we can always substitute x and y values and get the slope at the point. I am Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. You can always 
share and subscribe to my videos feel free to post questions and your liking thank you and all the best